Okay. So there's something about Buck that I just really want to just talk about. Literally, I'm not trying to say say this just because I'm full of myself or just because I'm like, I don't know, just trying to say, oh, it's because of me. I'm not saying that. And obviously they have a whole community of people of over millions of people that play this game. But all I'm saying is that like, I feel like I put Buck's DMR on other people's radars on how good it is. Look at the stats. Damage, 69. That's literally a two shot. Drop off range, I'm not 100% sure of where the drop off range is. But all I know is that literally ruins to coastline windows, you can get an easy two shot kill. And that means that its damage is consistent and that you can get a two, two shot kill almost every single time. I'm not saying the DPS is really high. All I'm saying is that your time to kill to kill somebody literally can be as fast as you pull the trigger. So as soon as, as like however fast you have a trigger finger or however fast you shoot the Bucks DMR and you hit your shots, then it's gonna be an easy kill. This gun has saved me so many times. So many people underrate this gun and they don't understand why this gun is so good. And then I literally, I, I started using Bucks DMR like maybe two weeks ago, one week ago. Next thing you know, all I see in casual or unranked or ranked, I see because I, I ran Bucks DMR probably for a solid couple of days straight. And I play this game quite a lot. And I'm not even going to lie, I actually have quite a few clips that I could post, but I'm just, I could post about my Buck DMR and I have plenty of clips. And if you know anybody that has played ranked with me, casual with me, played rainbow with me in general, they know how dirty I am with Buck's DMR. They underestimate Buck's DMR more than literally anything. This gun literally just needs the 3.0. 3.0 is so clean, muzzle break, that's it, all you need. And then obviously you have your customization and it's just, it's just so good. It has like, literally you can spam it with a trigger finger. And like, it's just, it has like almost no recoil. And skeleton key, oh my god, for Buck, it's like one of the most, like, the best things in the world. Open up soft walls, killing people maybe five feet from you, almost killing everyone in close range. You have something for long range, your DMR. Then you have skeleton key, literally for people that are maybe less than 10 feet. And depending on the situation, if you know how to use it right, then you're gonna get that kill most of the time. And if you know how to use this in close range, without skeleton key that's even better because sometimes skeleton key just doesn't work out because not all of your shots are going to actually hit and your buck dmr shots are just always precise and it just it helps out with precision and accuracy and it just it helps out with that trigger finger so much one of the best guns in the world and probably one of the best pretty sure best dmr in my opinion for buck and yeah, I just don't understand why people under underrate this gun. And literally, I will be like, I will run Buck and people are like, why are you running the Buck DMR? Oh my God, why are you running Buck DMR? Next thing you know, I pop off with Buck DMR and they're like, they just shut up. They just, they don't even know what they're talking about because it's just something that people usually don't use. And I feel like recently a lot more people have been running Buck DMR. And I'm not saying that's my, that's because of me. I'm just saying because I started running it and I feel like people are like, damn, this gun's good. And that that killed me really quick or other teammates. And they, they're like, maybe I should start using it. Then other people use Buck DMR. Then more people are like, damn, that guy's doing good with Buck DMR. And it's just a whole chain and everybody's just like, Buck DMR is good. But people just underrate this gun.